Now, today's Through the Decades Retro Spectacle. In the Victorian age, women were barred from golf, as it was considered unladylike to swing a club in the air. In 1867, a reduced scale putting green for ladies was opened in Scotland. It was the world's first miniature golf course. By the 1920s, the craze had spread to both sexes and to America, where it was largely a pastime of the wealthy and fashionable. In those days, mini golf courses were still just regular golf courses, only smaller. Then, in 1929, the first mini golf franchise was established in Tennessee with the Tom Thumb Golf Courses, which featured artificial obstacles like tunnels, ramps, and windmills. Middle America loved this new spin on the game, but Don Clayton did not. In 1954, the North Carolina insurance salesman founded Putt-Putt Golf and Games, which rejected the gimmicky hazards of the Tom Thumb style in favor of back-to-basics courses. Clayton also advocated making miniature golf a professional sport, which in some parts of the world it became. Regensburg, north of Munich, was the scene of the German Mini Golf Championship. Competing were 180 mini golfers from all over Germany. And it isn't as easy as it looks. There are 18 mini fairways, all riddled with traps and hazards. But in America, many golf enthusiasts continued to love the bells and whistles and the shipwrecks and Statues of Liberties. It's only recently, with the rise of video arcades and online gaming, that the sport has seen a drop in popularity, though it remains a favorite choice for date nights and an enduring icon of American pop culture.